a talking video it's a beatbox video which of course beatbox especially freestyle beatbox is only another language which is talking so maybe it's both <laughs> cheers I just rewatched Lucifer has cool melodies Cool little video I uploaded where one comment was left by some cool person. Who was it? Shout out. Let's shout him out. <laughs> uh, subscribed. Hmm, they meant to say subscribe. Yes. Thumbs up. So I commented back. I went and said, Yo, I appreciate that, boss. Yeah, more to come. I think that was, yeah, I started saying frick, like frick yeah, and shit like that. Like frick. I like saying that. That's, that's a fun word. Anyway, that might have been. Er, whoa, shit, I only left that comment five days ago? It's funny because the, the video is about two months old, I want to say. And the, but the comment was left three weeks ago. Let's see. Yeah, it's a two-month-old video. Comment was left three weeks ago, and then I left the reply only five days ago. Funny how that works. But, uh... <coughs> it's a beatbox video, not a talking video. Sing for you, feel like I wonder. Hold your fight. What is it? Hold your, yeah. Hold your fight in your test. If you would, 
<laughs> if you would, yeah, right, I've proven myself, yeah. or have I? Um, <clears throat> I'm the captain, <laughs> gone rogue, <laughs> what a show, <laughs> I've tried to warn you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then it goes to the next part, which sounds like. You know what sucks? For this song, <laughs> which I have not filmed and put up yet, like uh, so many of my songs, um, <clears throat> at least last year, about a fucking full year ago, I put like, you know, in, in a vlog like this, where it's just kind of a video, I had a version, I had like a preview version of it up. It's so funny, dude. Oh, God. Well, anyway, and, and, uh, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, so I actually finished it shortly after, I think, that that video came out. And I put that, you know, it was part of a vlog. It's on my channel, whatever the hell, you know, about a year ago or so, I want to say. And, um, yeah, shortly after that little preview of the song, which this song, that last song is called The Night. Okay, and <clears throat> I fin I finished like the whole lyrics. I put it all in my notes app, right? Uh, on my old phone, which I don't have anymore. <clears throat> kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, and that's the story of my life. Uh, in two words, no. <laughs> um, fucking just because. You know, I've lost so much shit for different reasons, but, you know, just to not have those notes carry over, which some of my data from my old phone carried over, but it seemed that it was not everything, unfortunately. Mainly, it's like the account logins and this kind of thing. But, you know, funnily enough, like, the background of my old phone came onto my new phone. So it would seem that, you know, a lot of things made it over from my old phone to my new phone, even without having my access, you know, cause I fucking broke the fucker with a hammer after, well, that's a whole nother story, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying, man, it sucks that I lost all the lyrics to the finished song, the night. But, you know, considering that that's all, you know, over a year old, you know, obviously I can just redo it and it's all good, really. It's actually, it's better in a way because when you release a song, the gap between when you make those lyrics and when you actually release it to the public, the shorter that is, the better. I think that's totally true. Yeah, because it will just, it will automatically be more in tune with the present vibe that you are releasing to, obviously. Yeah. You know, the sooner, like, just like this video. Yeah. Uh, it being all impromptu and whatnot. Yeah, you get it. So, anyway, I don't know. <coughs> This vlog can be a nice long one, and it's not just beatbox, and it's not just me talking, but I'm going to try and do more beatboxing, um, 
and make it, you know, maybe 20 minutes is a good time. You know, I don't want it to be too goddamn long. So that means we're about halfway through if I stick to the 20, 20 minute plan here. Check it out. I made a soup. Oh, yeah. Look at this soup. I didn't know that I was making this video, but here I am. I actually did want to show off this soup when I was... I was I always want to show off my cooking more. And I'm excited to do more with my YouTube channel, most definitely. So, <clears throat> this soup is just freaking unholy matrimony, dude. I gotta say, because I specifically saved this line in my head earlier when I threw away this freaking can. I said, you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably fish it out. And say that I saved this, I put it in the trash and saved it, or whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, the fucking Juanita's Foods, Mexican style hominy. Now, I still don't really, it's some type of grain, whatever the fuck hominy is, you know, hamana hamana. You know, that's what the lady on the front gets me saying, if you will. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, we do love the Latinas around here, no doubt. But what I'm saying is, <clears throat> look, it expired on January, February, March, April. April of last year. Technically, technically. Uh, well, wait, that's what the marker says. Yeah, no, that's what, the, that's what it says on the can, too. But it's really just Best Buy that date. Best Buy. So when I opened it today and decided to make a soup with it, you know, I smelled it, and I tasted one of the little hominy grains, which look like this. It's like a small one, oh, whatever. They're all about this size. Well, this is small. Let me show you a big one. Never mind. It's the same size. And it smelled weird at first. Let's see, it almost looks like a little piece of corn inside of it. Or like a pea, you know what I'm saying? See that? Uh, well, anyway. Um, <clears throat> looks like almost like a seed outlined in the middle of that, right? Whatever the hell kind of grain it is, it's good. And I knew that it would soak up flavor just by looking at it. And I haven't really seen many people use this hominy thing like in any, you know. I just literally learned about it from the can somehow. But anyway, it was found outside of the, you know, the free food spot downtown where I live. Months, you know, maybe it was a while ago that I even got, and I just decided randomly today to use it. <clears throat> and I rinsed it out because it was smelling odd, right? And just slightly odd. And I'm like, I'm sure if I rinse it, it'll be fine. And sure enough, you know, I did, and it was, and I, I, I almost thought I might be regretting making this whole soup and I'm going to add so much good stuff to it. And then if these how many things are actually, no, because I tried a little bit and then that's why I was confident that it would be fine. And sure enough, it was actually, there's no like bad aftertaste to them. So you can really, <clears throat> yeah, I've used several of these cans that I got from that day and I'm so glad that whoever decided to like, like they have the same knowledge that I'm telling you right now. Canned food stays good well beyond the best buy date on the can. That's how it goes. So <clears throat> very happy about that. And we added Obviously, a bunch of soy curls. Those are the big things that look kind of, sort of like a chicken. So I'm like, yep, yeah, let's add a lot of that. Let's add a bunch of water, make the broth. Use some of the, use one of these not beef bouillon, vegan bouillon cubes. And I only used one, only one. And then a bunch of water. Obviously, was relied on, you know, a bunch of seasonings. We got our chicken seasoning, which is still vegan. Um, even though it says chicken right on it. And then, of course, we got the 
cayenne pepper, which carried the spice of the dish, which, yes, it is right on that line. That's where I cook. And I just eyeball it. It's just right on that line of being too spicy. But no, it's not, actually. It's just, yeah, I love that shit. And then, <clears throat> obviously, salt. Obviously, you know, and then there's certain, like, this Chinese five spice. I just like, just a little bit of that. You know, why not? Just change up the flavor profile. Get it tasting hella unique. Not like everything else that I cook. And then some oregano. A little bit of chili powder made its way into the broth as well. I'm out of pepper. So no pepper really found its way in. And so... <clears throat> But then we got, obviously, some thyme made its way in. The rest of this hatch chile, which is a garlic, was a garlic-heavy seasoning. Actually, it all fell in because I was like, yeah, I was getting it all out. And it all fell out. I'm like, oh, well, meant to be. Because it was stuck at the bottom. Yeah, anyway. And... <clears throat> So we got that in there, and this, and that, and then a can of garbanzo beans made its way in, which I have so many, like, cans of garbanzo. I'm glad I put it in, because they saw, they're so, like, before they're heated up or cooked or whatever, that's a tough bean. But once cooked, it blends so well, so well with the hominy. It's like the hominy and the chickpea are two peas in a pod because I don't know why. In my head, they're just very similar. <laughs> yeah, very chewy, very substantial. And then we got the green bean. Green bean made its way in from a can of green beans, of course, which we kept the juice from. Of course, some bacon bits made it in. Um which I added later. I don't think I tried a bowl yet that had the bacon bits in it, which of course is vegan. It's all vegan, baby, here, oh yeah. And then <clears throat> carrots <coughs> from the jar of jalapenos that I had made its way in, which I love that the freaking, I love this brand that you get, you get it from Dollar General. They carry it. And it's jalapenos and onions and a bunch of juice, like pickled jalapenos, onions, juice, and carrot slices. And it makes it just so valuable to cook with because I don't have to buy carrots. Anytime I want to have a few carrots in a dish, you know, sometimes I might buy something with carrots in it. But I always know that there's some carrots in this jar. Very useful. So, and then some jalapenos made it in, of course, and a bunch of sugar. Well, not a bunch, but like I kind of had a moment where I, you know, I was pouring it and it just, I'm all sound effecty. No, yeah, it did. It, uh, it like was a little more than I planned on putting in, but I'm glad actually it was perfect because I didn't put too much and a little butter made its way in, you know. I mean, it's a rich broth, rich with very many seasonings and so many ingredients in the soup. I think I did basically just list all of them. No, also there for the broth, there was horseradish made its way in there. A little bit of gar minced garlic from the jar. I mean, this is how you freestyle a soup, man. And it just, it just hits, dude. And... You know, I'm starting to be a little less surprised when I do this. I mean, it's every time a fucking home run, baby. So, <laughs> but actually, I haven't made a freestyle little soup in a while. So, that's pretty cool. And, you know, it makes me want to share it with my mom. Because I always remember, like, when my mom visited not too long, like, last month. We didn't need any soup, but, you know, I always think how she, she has mentioned, oh, she loves soup. She wants to eat soup. It's one of her favorite foods is soup. So, you know, with my mom right now, apparently she has COVID. I didn't know. 
I hadn't talked to her for about a week and I was waiting for her phone to get turned back on. Apparently, maybe she, her phone's off. I don't know. Or she's just not charging it. I don't know what's going on. Unfortunately, Eastern Star, when I did finally call tonight, you know, they said, oh, you know, I mean, we don't actually have wireless, like, phones to, like, go give to your mom so that she can talk to you. She has COVID, like I said, so she is quarantined. She cannot leave her, literally, my mom has not left her room in that long, that sucks fucking dick fuck. And they don't fucking let her out the fuck side? What the fuck, dude? It's honestly, like, a nightmare, dude. It's so fucking stupid. And, like, I should be more in touch with my sister about all the shenanigans and all that. But I did finally text her today, and we'll see. What, you know, we'll hear some news. We'll, we'll, the situation will be rectified in stages right in different notches all in good time but it's really fucked up and stupid and does she really have covid or you know who the fuck really fucking knows dude i mean and what the fuck even is covid you know there's so many layers to the fucking shenanigans here but at any rate there's about just as many layers of flavor in this awesome soup i made and that is good I wish you could try it my mom may try it I may you know end up going soon and not having the vacation that I wanted oh shit it's already 22 minutes I could have told you that it's gonna be a 30 minute video let's bump it up <laughs> um, it can be as long I mean dude my phone has space dude so I don't care it can be as long as it needs to be but yeah, because the fucking vacation I was going to have with my mom, I'm all out of ice, damn it. So, you know, I got to do the responsible thing and leave the freezer open, because we're going to be right back to it. Look, speaking of responsible things, I finally took my blender out to be rinsed, because it had been full of this almond milk char. <laughs> Which is like the solids. I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know why. It was, it was from my last attempt at making almond milk. Which I kind of like gave up on, if I recall. So like, my blender was like all sitting in the fridge. With this failure almond milk. <laughs> for like months. And you know. So I finally said, fuck that, dude. Let's get fucking taking care of that. And, uh, well, anyway, um, okay, so we got our ice, and we can stack the trays. Wait, let's not spill anything. Move that, stack the trays, even though both trays is full. How about that for a miracle? I've actually never done it this way, where they're both full, and I'm, uh, it's not even that hard. Boom. My toilet probably looks like shit. Hopefully you didn't see too much of that. Well, yeah, you know, I did want to go with, you know, and, and plan this new trip with mom. Now, oh, she's got COVID, so there's going to be a whole new aura of carefulosity on Eastern Star's behalf, that being the name of where she lives. And <clears throat> so it's more, it's looking more like it'll be kind of like more like a day trip that I just, hey, Ma, here I am, you know. Hey, oh, you can't leave. Or maybe they'll still let us leave for the day and come back. If, like, kind of like smooth it over, make it a one-day thing. Like, because of course they, they would miss it. Who knows, dude? Because no, they do. They love my mom and shit. The fact that last time she was gone for a few days and they just... <clears throat> when, when she came back, they, you know... One, you know, Dorothy, main one of the main chicks that works there, said how much they all missed her and how she's the glue that holds the place together, which I made sure to tell Emily how she said that Dorothy did. And 
that was just really that's that's a that's a cool thing to hear and it makes sense you know it makes sense but uh anyway blah the fuck blah dude we'll see we'll see for right now dude we're just fucking pulling another drink this minute this video can be fucking 45 minutes we're hanging out there's no rush are you do you got anything to do please pause the video and go do it and come back when it's done you should not be watching my videos if you have something to do. Right now, all I have to do is this video. The power lies with you to pause if you have to do anything at all, please. Oh, fuck. Obviously, there's no more ice yet. But no, I have enough ice in my drink. That's fine. Boom, 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 boom. That's enough. Now, I just got this bottle last night. It's more than halfway gone. But that's okay. That is okay because you know what? It's only natural that my alcohol tolerance and intake would, you know, increase and increase <laughs> um, both of them my tolerance and intake that's just how it goes so you know we're fine we're really just par for the course and <clears throat> fuck it let's go out here what are we gonna say I was gonna say something fucking Let's use a black lighter. Let's put on the sweatpants. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna beatbox more in this video. Ooh, does talking about beatbox count? Because you, let me tell you. Beatbox community. Look it up on YouTube. Watch their latest videos. They're insane. The one I just mentioned, I'm not going to repeat the name. I just said it. It's the best fucking shit for fucking beatbox on YouTube. <laughs> Pretty much, period, dude. I mean, obviously, there's years and years of content, but in general, this format where they're all in a fucking house, like this is an apartment, but very similar to this vibe, they're all just like, yo, here's this guy, and here's this guy. <laughs> and fucking, they're going at it. Let's go. And they fucking do it in this setting of just being chilling at home, and but the. But it's packed full of fucking the world's best beatboxers. Most of the world's best beatboxers. If not, if not most, then <laughs> a lot of, you know, like, it's just, it's just crazy. And they're just doing the best fucking takes, you know. They don't do retakes. It's just fucking hit record and that's it. There's no editing other than... <clears throat> So maybe some editing here and there, but really, it's just like kind of like my video, or you know, that I'm doing right now. Even that it's, it's just like a one take Jake, you know what I'm saying? And don't be skating with your Jakes, as they say, as I drop my black and mild. No, but uh, all right, let's get the fuck out there so we can say some shit. And then end the fucking video because it's already goddamn half an hour. Holy fuck. Remember that time when I said I wanted this video to be 20 minutes? How cute was that moment, dude? It's gonna be 40 fucking minutes. 40 or more. I'm calling it now. Which is fine. Who gives a fuck? Not a big deal, really. I'm not that big a YouTube channel. Even though I'm the biggest name in the biz. 
comment down below if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding in parentheses. Okay, whatever. Okay, shut up. <laughs> I'm such a fucking goofy goober. Such a nice night out. I am filming this in backwards selfie mode, which means everything is opposite, and then also vertical. Huh. Uh, figures. But that keeps it interesting here on the Washdog channel. You never know if you're going to get the opposite of this, which is if it's sideways, and then fucking using the outer camera, which means everything is not mirrored and opposite. <coughs> Why is that star twinkling? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Are you a star or are you a spaceship? <laughs> Probably a fucking spaceship, dude. I would zoom in and show you, but there's no way my camera's gonna pick that up. Not much breeze. You may not remember in other vlogs, if you've watched my vlogs, sometimes there's a big old breeze and I gotta go in the corner. Not tonight. I can light it up right here. <coughs> in other news, I texted Will Kin Folk. Yep. If you know who he is, good for you. If you don't, <laughs> check out a video from my past on my, on my channel here. No, I got it. Okay. <coughs> I did finally text him because I had made a Facebook account. Another one because the last one I got locked out of. And fucking shit. And so I just made a new one. And then, <clears throat> then he sent me a friend request on it. And I'm not trying to do like an actual Facebook account. I just want to be able to access Facebook for whenever I may want to access Facebook. So I, told, I texted him finally tonight because I was watching, you know, I was watching Steve-O interview Rhett and Link on YouTube. <coughs> it was a great episode. You know, they're talking about this and that and go watch it if you want. <coughs> Three of my favorite people, Steve-O, Rhett and Link. Pfft, not my brother Steve-O, mind you. <laughs> no, he's up there too. He's up there too. But no, um, what was I saying? Fucking really good episode. What was I saying about the episode? Oh, shit. I don't know. Now I'm feeling the oncoming of the shits. Because I smoked, I took a puff of this fucking black and mild. And now my ass is saying it's fucking all fucking systems go, ready to take a shit, which fucking sucks. You know what? I don't know what else I was going to say. Literally, that's how fast this... Smoking this just makes me have to shit sometimes. It's fucking amazing. I technically can hold it. Oh, God, no, I'm not going to... I got to go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Peace out.